What is it about Astaire that makes it so special? Astaire lights are known to professionals and those who work in the event space, but also filmmakers. And why do some content creators should also look into it? Well, I'm here to answer that question. Astaire is known for the Titan engine, RGBM. It's red, blue, green, mint, and amber. Why is it so important? Because traditionally, when LEDs came to market, they were just white. Then they became warm white and white that allowed to have white color. And then we got RGB. But RGB most likely is RGBW, which is red, green, blue, and white. But what's so special about the Titan engine? Well, the thing is, when you're dialing in, for example, 5600 Kelvin on a sterilite, it actually produces white light through using all the colors at the same time. And that creates a better color spectrum and a wider CCT range. This Astera Hydro Panel actually has a white balance range from 1750 Kelvin up to 20,000 Kelvin, which creates a beautiful ice cold light. So let's take a look at this panel and see how these lumens are looking. I have this kit that includes diffusers and modifiers, light, the bracket to combine lights, the bracket to mount the light, baby pin with a quarter inch to mount the light, charger, and the light panel itself. And one of the interesting things about this light, it actually has six pixel dots. So each of these lines are a separate pixel. And this light could be stacked with other hydro panels and create a larger panel that will allow you to, you know, light the actor or maybe create more realistic fire effect or some a, you know interesting effect for the background so let me tell you how to how you can control it first of all of course you have controls on board you can also control it with your app you can control it with a wire DMX and CRMX so this slide is absolutely all you need in a professional world but also in content creation and if you want to mount it you have a few options this bracket allows you to use one of the spring-loaded cold shoes and then you can either place it as it is on a floor maybe or a table gets beautiful you know catch light then you have quarter inch here quarter inch here three eighths and this is preparatory for astera eyeballs right here. This eyeball could also be used on the panel itself, just like this. It could be hanged. Keep in mind that these bolts are not quarter inches. They're actually smaller. So this is preparatory for Astera. To release it, you just need to pull down and that's it. In one of the videos that I've been creating, I actually used the internal magnet here that allows you to stick the panel to anything metal and you have that fun, cool color with all the effects. If you know exactly how long is the shoot, you can preset it. You don't have to use the whole battery right away, or you know you can change it on the app. And the interesting thing about control panel, you can actually decrease or increase by just sliding your finger. And this right now is, you're not gonna believe, 20,000 Kelvin. Pretty icy, right? Now, one of the cool things that a lot of pros will appreciate they have Roscoe Lee gels built in. They also have HSI mode and, you know, that pixel color effect all here. About the modifiers, you probably should know a few things because I don't want you to get confused when you will see them. So for the diffusion, you have a 100 degree diffusion sheet and you have 100 degree like soft frame diffusion. And then this, this is the intensifier, 80 degree. How you know that this is intensifier? First, it says on the bottom here. Secondly, it has magnets, unlike the soft frame. Why do you need intensifier? Well, since your panel uses different colors to reproduce the white or any other color, you need to have intensifier to have more balanced 
and mixed color when you put the grid on. Now about the grids, you have 60 degree grid and you have 40 degree grid. Super easy, just snap and go. You do have a gel holder. And one more thing you need to know is this panel is actually IP65 rated. Just pop in this too and you are all set. If you're filming a shoot in the rain or it drizzles or it's maybe like a light snow, it will be fine. All you need to do is just, you know, keep this in and that's it. Now, have to actually use it. Well, let's do some shots.